Echoes Untold. Welcome to the channel where history's forgotten moments are brought back to life. Today we uncover the haunting tale of the a vessel born from human ingenuity and ambition but destined for tragedy. This story is about more than just a submarine, it's about the people who risked everything to push the boundaries of naval technology only to be met with heartbreak beneath the waves. As we delve into this tale of courage, failure and lessons learned, don't forget to support our channel. Like this video, share it with history enthusiasts and subscribe for more untold stories. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest explorations. Now let's dive deep into the chilling tragedy of the... In the mid-19th century, the world of naval warfare was undergoing a profound transformation. The American Civil War had introduced ironclad ships and early attempts at underwater combat, sparking a race to develop innovative technologies that could dominate the seas. Among these ambitious projects was the, a submarine designed to change the course of naval history. Conceived by inventors Augustus Price and Scovel Merriam in 1863, there was a marvel of its time, shaped like an elongated pear, and built from thick iron plating, it measured 28 feet long and could hold up to six crew members. Its defining feature was its simplicity. Instead of relying on steam or other advanced power sources, the submarine used a hand-cranked propeller system operated by the crew working in unison. The vessel was equipped with a ballast system for submerging and surfacing, and it boasted an innovative hatch that allowed divers to exit the submarine while underwater. Armed with the ability to deploy explosive charges, the promise to be a stealthy and effective weapon. However, the technology was far from perfect. Construction of the submarine was completed in 1866, just after the Civil War ended. With the immediate need for such a vessel diminished, the languished for years. It wasn't until the early 1870s that the U.S. Navy took renewed interest, hoping to test whether the submarine could fulfill its potential as a revolutionary weapon. In the spring of 1872, the Navy scheduled a high-stakes trial for the in Bayonne, New Jersey, along the Passaic River. The test was designed to demonstrate the submarine's ability to submerge, navigate underwater, and resurface safely. A small crowd of engineers, military officials, and curious onlookers gathered on the shoreline, eager to witness history in the making. The crew consisted of four men, including experienced engineers and Navy volunteers. As they boarded the vessel, tension filled the air. Inside the submarine, conditions were claustrophobic. The interior was dimly lit by oil lamps and the walls were lined with levers, valves and gauges. The crew had to work in unison to turn the crankshaft that powered the propeller, a physically exhausting task that left little room for error. The demonstration began smoothly. The submarine's hatch was sealed and the ballast system was engaged, allowing the vessel to descend beneath the river's surface. For a few moments all seemed well. The moved gracefully underwater, its iron hull gliding through the murky depths. But then disaster struck. Witnesses on the surface noticed unusual turbulence in the water, followed by a sudden cessation of movement. Inside the submarine, the crew realized that water was leaking into the vessel. The exact cause remains a mystery, but reports suggest that one of the hatches had failed to seal properly, allowing water to flood the cramped interior. The crew acted quickly, attempting to pump out the water and resurface the vessel. However, the hand-cranked propulsion system made rapid maneuvers nearly impossible. The rising water compromised the delicate balance of the submarine, causing it to tilt and sink further. The ballast system, which was supposed to stabilize the vessel, malfunctioned, leaving the crew powerless to stop the descent. As the water rose inside the submarine, oxygen levels plummeted. The crew, now knee-deep in freezing water, struggled to maintain their composure. Efforts to signal for help from the surface failed as the submarine lacked an effective emergency communications system. 
Within minutes, the sank to the riverbed, its iron walls becoming a tomb for the men inside. Rescue efforts were mounted immediately, but by the time the vessel was raised hours later, it was too late. When the hatch was finally opened, the rescuers found the bodies of the crew seated at their stations, their faces frozen in expressions of determination and desperation. The tragedy of the sent shockwaves through the naval community. The loss of life underscored the inherent risks of experimental technology, and the Navy quickly shelved plans to develop the submarine further. While the vessel had shown promise, its catastrophic failure highlighted the need for more reliable designs and rigorous safety protocols. That was never used again. It was eventually transferred to the National Museum of the U.S. Navy in Washington, D.C., where it remains on display as a somber reminder of the cost of innovation. Visitors can see the submarine's iron hull and imagine the bravery of the men who risked and ultimately lost their lives to advance naval technology. The sinking of the year was a pivotal moment in the history of submarine development. While the vessel's failure was a setback, it provided valuable lessons that informed the design of future submarines. By the late 19th and early 20th centuries, submarines had evolved into formidable weapons playing crucial roles in both world wars. At its core, the story of the is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It reminds us that progress often comes at great cost and that the sacrifices of those who dare to explore the unknown pave the way for future advancements. And though they met a tragic end, its story continues to inspire. It's a powerful reminder of the courage and determination required to challenge the boundaries of the possible. If you found this story compelling, please like this video and share it with others who love history. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Your feedback keeps us exploring these untold tales. Don't forget to subscribe to and click the notification bell so you'll never miss another deep dive into history's hidden depths. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, keep uncovering the echoes of the past.